Vincent Chirico has already uh, made waves in New Haven. And uh, he's only been there for a few months, although he's not new at the restaurant game. The Little Brasserie in uh, downtown New Haven, it's a big spot. As a matter of fact, it's three restaurants in one. The other two being? Cafe mm -hmm. and our fantastic bar. And the bar area, which has its own uh, little small plates menu, too. Yep. Nice to see you so, back here. Thank you. Delighted. Thanks. Uh, Happy to be back. Fish is in season, obviously, getting there. You've already put on uh, the stove a nice piece of snapper. Yeah. American yeah. Red Snapper mm -hmm. from Florida. Fantastic. Right. And today I thought we'd talk about spring ramp, right? I Can I tell you, uh, years ago I learned what a ramp was. I was like, what is this? Because I went to a, fest <laughs> a festival in West Virginia. It's not for it, skateboarding. It, it's like, gar it's garlicky, right? Yeah, so yeah. super super pungent, oniony, uh -huh. in the scallion family, looks like a scallion sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Super versatile, but you know, what's what's hand, what's really, hand, hand what's hand really exciting about these is that it's a really short season. Yeah. Um, you find a lot of them up in the Northeast. And, and so, and can, and can I tell you, you can smell those. In you can here, taste it raw, which is good. It's fantastic. Mm, garlicky. Yeah. It, really, it, really intense flavor. You can smell that because if you smell the fish, what do, what do we say? Buy the meat. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're working on a dish here that is featuring all the spring flavors. Right. right? Okay. Beautiful red snapper fillet, mm -hmm. and we feature this for two at the restaurant. Of course. Right? The beauty, the beauty of this also is that it's. What's fun for this is that it's also a one-pan pickup, right, at yeah. home? Yeah, it's always okay. easy. Now, you, this is going to stay, how, yeah. how long per side? And yeah, you've, got, so, you've got a lot of butter in there. So the trick, to, look, the, trick to cook, the trick to cooking a good fish is controlling the temperature, mm -hmm. right? What a lot of people, the mistake a lot of people make is they start too hot. They right? start to right on high and that's it. Right, and then yeah. you wind up having a little bit of sort of blackness instead of a nice mm -hmm. cozy brown, right? Mm -hmm. So this temperature here, which is sort of a medium temperature, uh -huh. right? That's your ideal temperature to cook a filleted fish like okay. this, right? Um, Look at that. How many, it how many probably minutes? takes about three to four minutes on each side. Okay. okay. Can you undercook this? You know, I know, if you, you know, heaven forbid, if, if you know, you tuna, you're just going to sear. I would Salmon, say. Salmon, okay, but what about flounder? I would say it'd be hard to undercook this, mm -hmm. you know, especially if you go three to four minutes on but each side. Very easy to overcook it, though. Easy to overcook. <laughs> but, but the beauty of this, mm -hmm. this fish that it, the flakiness of it, right? even if it's a little overcooked, it's still very palatable and really enjoyable to eat. There okay, you go. So, what, are, what are we going to add to this? So we're going to add into the same pan. Here come your We right. have a nice mix of really beautiful green asparagus, some wild broccolini. I was going to say, is that broccolini or broccoli rice? It is broccolini. Mm -hmm. So it's a little sweeter, not so bitter. I love these olives you're putting in. I these are Castle the Toronto olives. And also, don't be afraid to add the olive juice, right? That's where the flavor is. Oh, you can hear the sizzle. So you know I've working. got some of the white from the ramp here that we're going to add in. Actually, let's add it all in. <laughs> I've got a little bit of chiffonade of the ramp as well, right? Because that's our featured ingredient. Different for textures, right? A little bit of salt. Okay. Here we have a puree that is utilizing all those beautiful ramps. Okay. The ramp leaves as they start to as they start to fade a little bit in uh -huh. your fridge. Right. <clears throat> You can blanch that, turn it into a really beautiful puree what, like what that. What are we adding to puree? So into this you have, it's it's going to be mostly ramps that are blanched, right? right? You want to have a base that gives you structure. So in this case, we, we, we slice some onions and we cook them slowly. There you go. That's the base, mm -hmm. a little bit of parsley, a little bit of cream, a little bit of olive oil, and you wind up with this beautiful, yeah. intense, and, uh, and, intense and puree. Because here's the key, keep in mind, that doesn't look, I mean, that looks really nice, and yet it's not hard to do. No, so this don't is- Don't be scared. By, uh, by that, I, I, I don't right. think I've ever made it. So done, done that. that your fish, good. your fish would just be about ready mm -hmm. at this point, right? Look at this plate. Okay. Oh my. This you want to give it a little bit of, a little more heat, a little bit of, slight bit of caramelization. Uh huh. If this thing cooperates. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> it's still cooking though. <laughs> a little squeeze of lemon. Really important. That fresh lemon is going to be super important, uh -huh. you know, because you have a little bit of butter in here. We want to balance that out as yeah. much as we can. I like to season that. A little bit of seasoning here. Just a touch of olive oil right. in the end here. And again, this is on the menu, on the spring menu. This is on the spring menu. What, We're what, featuring ramps in a lot of different dishes what at the else is, What else is in on the spring menu? So we have some amazing golden beets in. Oh We're working with a bunch of uh, citrus now. We've mm -hmm. changed all the cocktails as well to reflect the season. It's a great restaurant. Everyone's talking about it. making, like I said, making a lot of waves. Here's a finished product. 
Uh, Vin, you have outdone yourself. And, and I love when Vin comes in because I just say, hi, Vin, and he goes to work. <laughs> well, yeah, there's your finished product. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Nice Thanks very much. Check them out. Luke Brasserie, downtown New Haven. It's the big joint by the Schubert. You can't miss it.